back to Get Serial TV, guys. Now we're here with the scared weird little guys. Not so scared, not so little. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume you're guys. So, <laughs> is it? Do we do we focus in on the weird? Do we? What do we do here? I'm a little one. He's a scared. I'm weird scared one, and weird usually. one. You know, ah. when we first came up with the with the name, Chris, uh, it was uh, we were kind of scared and weird and a bit nervous and not really quite knowing what was going to happen in our first gig. But um, were you just out of being a teenager and stuff like that, or I just guess so. Sort of early twenties. Just out of uni, yeah, really early twenties, and um, big bad world. We'd been singing together <laughs> in uh, another a cappella group, like a five part group. Uh, well, yeah. I, heard, I heard about that, and then uh, sort of came together in 1990. 1990 was our first ever gig, and we thought, oh, let's write some silly uh, original songs. Well, guys, 1990—that's 18 years ago. So uh, John yeah. and Rusty here have had their 18th birthday as a comedy duo. This year, this year. Yeah, this right. year. July 17th, we, I believe. We're allowed to drink now. As you a, are. As a, as a exactly. Yeah. You're allowed Legal. to head out. We're allowed to vote as a duo. See, yeah. but you guys came, You guys had your birthday at the wrong time because you can only head out and then, you know, if it's past 2am, you can do it. That's right. Well, that's right. That's right. Well, th these days we tend to party in the privacy of our own hotel room, so that's, <laughs> that's okay. right. Yeah. Well, uh, is, is, that because, is that because there are particular things that scare the scared weird little guys out there in the big bad world? Is there... Uh, Maybe things I don't know. Well, like yeah, sure, I mean things like you know, spiders, spiders, spiders uh, global snakes. warming, uh, politicians, yeah, yeah politicians, <laughs> um, bouncers, uh, bikers with guns. Yeah, that's <laughs> all scary things. Definitely. Yeah. Sounds. Uh, yeah, I, I can. I, I, I can see where you're coming from with yeah, that. Yeah. Sheep from New Zealand. Sometimes we, well, we deal with New Zealand. New Zealand. It's funny. We were in New Zealand recently, and we did learn a traditional New Zealand folk song. Oh, did we you really? That's right. We learned it. Oh, oh beautiful. Might do it for you now. It's a little uh, <laughs> example. A beautiful song it was. Here we go. To New Zealand. <laughs> oh, give me fifty socks, but so fashion chops. I haven't sold that since 1960 socks. That's a bit rich if you cuss me on the lips. I'll hurt you with my fist if you give me the shots. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't mean to offend anyone. No, 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 no. Zealand that's people, right. Shut hip and sit. It does. My <laughs> mates are Kiwis and they cop it all the time. Of course. It's not. It's not. His name's Chris. You and never get sick. Cross. Cross. Yeah. Oh, cross. <laughs> you never get sick of that accent. I was driving in New Zealand and I heard on the radio as an ad and it said, "Hello, do you have adequate television antenna reception?" <laughs> <laughs> it's. I reckon sometimes it's, it's just a struggle to figure out the sentences. It takes it takes me an extra second or two to put that's, it all that's together. That's normal for you, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, what well, about in New Zealand? Particularly, if there's, yeah. particularly if there's big words involved. <laughs> Maybe it hurts his brain. <laughs> Need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But um, so you guys are playing at the Spiegel Tent. Yes, we are. The Spiegel Tent has been a home away from home for us in the past. We've done yeah. two Edinburgh festivals in uh, the Spiegel Tent, a couple of Adelaide's, and That's many right. Melbournes. It's yeah. got a really awesome atmosphere there. I, I mean, I don't know if Chris has gone before, but I've, I've been like in high school and stuff, and I've seen all like a couple of the burlesque shows and a yeah. few of the like flamenco shows, and I think Cat Empire back then they oh. had their massive start at the Spiegel but Tent. They had a massive mm. support and there. You forget and that it's a tent. It's, it's, it's so magical in there. Being in there, it kind of reminds me of growing up and going camping with the family. And I yeah. remember how often I was kept awake by the chandelier swinging in the yeah. wind. Uh, oh, yeah. It's amazing tent, how well it just packs down into the these two backpacks as well. And you can yeah. just go <laughs> hiking into the wilderness and set it up and there's a PA and put on your own burlesque show. And yeah. Yeah. Do, they, yeah. do they serve food at the Spiegel Tent? Because I'd, I'd be worried about, you know, koalas, kangaroos, all kinds of wildlife. Oh, getting out yeah. the wild. They do have to tie it up in a bag and hang it from the chandelier at night though, yeah, so no possums right. get it. Uh -huh. And with, with, with an extra one small day pack, you can also take the bar from outside the Spiegel tent with you and you go camping <laughs> yeah. as well. And uh, really that's, versatile. That's yeah. Yeah. Now it was built by Belgians, I believe. Yeah, that was right, although there were some poles involved. Thank I you very much, John. As <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> it being a tent and all, does. ten poles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's incredible because when you're inside the Spiegel tent, you can't really see outside, especially if it's dark. You don't kind of know in, in a moment on stage we might be doing a song and we go hey, are we in Edinburgh yeah. or are we in Adelaide or oh no we're in Melbourne yeah yeah, okay. yeah no I, I reckon it's awesome it's got such a long running season in Melbourne as well mm. it's like and the whole point behind Spiegel Tent is supporting like young acts and everyone and people underground acts as well yep. gives everyone them gets like a, little... a forum I guess as well Absolutely. it's really really cool I love it I love it good, Sorry. good. Right <laughs> right when right are you guys on. playing there we're playing there Fania on the 28th of November at 7 p.m. and you can, uh, you can book through Ticketmaster is and, it just um, one show you guys are just playing? one show well you know we haven't really done many shows in Melbourne this year mm -hmm. so we decided to uh, put a show on and uh, the Spiegel Tent is very popular with local acts yeah. so we're actually lucky to even ping a night so yeah. we're happy wow. to get in 
in there. And uh, so please come along and see the show. And uh, what sort of songs do you reckon we can expect to hear busted out? We'll be uh, doing Stump the Scaredies, which is our musical challenge where the audience shouts out two songs and we drew the lyrics of one to the tune of another. We'll Sounds be attempting good. to sing four songs at the same time. Yes. Uh, we'll be doing our Eminem waltzing Matilda. Oh, is that a cue fun. for that? I think it is. Like <laughs> it? We've got to hear that one. Can I put in a request though before? Sure. Yeah. Not, not to do now, right. but like in your show. Yeah. I would really love it if I could hear Whitney Houston, I'll Always Love You, with any Jack Johnson song. Any Jack Johnson okay, we'll song? Work <laughs> we'll work on that, that and we'll improvise something one. on the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I used to know some Jack Johnson songs. Doesn't too. he do the theme for... Flake? For uh, the monkey. <laughs> George. Does he? Yeah. yeah Curious George. George. Oh, I don't think I have to listen yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. But now, that. on to Eminem. Yeah. Yeah. Eminem. With his version of Waltzing Matilda. Right, so here we go. <laughs> Yo, here we go. <laughs> I said I once a jolly swagman was not a bagman. Can't buy a billabong, he looked like Larry Hagman. Beneath the shade of a tree called a cooler bar. It wasn't far by car from Malula Bar. He sang as he waited for his billy to boil. He was sitting on the soil, it was gonna take a while. When he could see the steam on his tea, he said, You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. A waltzing Matilda, she came from St. Kilda. Her middle name was Hilda. Her daddy was a builder. When he could see the steam on his tea, he said, You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And down came a jump buck. He was dumbstruck. He jumped up and picked it up, but got his thumb stuck. He slipped off the dag and rolled up his swag and stuck that jump buck down in his tucker bag. I can't quite remember what happens next. I'm gonna refer to the original text. Down came a stockman mounted on his. Yo, that stockman. That's it, yo. Okay. Yo, a down came a stockman, turned off his walkman, went to the swaggy and said, Yo, what's up, man? You dirty smuggler, I ain't no sucker. What's in the bag with your tucker mother? I <laughs> turned the swaggy and said it wasn't me. The stockman called on the troopers, one, two, three. The cops came en masse and chased him down the grass to nab his thieving skinny white homeless ass. But they won't catch him because he jumped in the billabong for a never-ending swim. And as he took his dive, they listened to his jive. He said, you coppers are never gonna take me alive. <laughs> the music, the moment, the stockman, the swaggy, the troopers, the jump up, the yo-yo. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> I never meant to steal that jumbo, but tonight I'm cleaning out my tucker bag. Word. <laughs> nice, well done, guys. That's gangster. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Even I'm looking real. forward to seeing you at the Spiegel tent. Right. Scared we little guys. Guy, um, guys? <laughs> guys, people. Guys, here we are. The guys are scared we little. So go scared? and see them at the Spiegel tent. Make sure you do as soon as possible. In fact, November 28th. No, I said 7th, my bad. At 7 o'clock, right? At 7 o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> November 7th, go on around. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show, guys. You're <laughs>